Do you like to swim? I'm a great swimmer. I won all these medals at school. I can hold my breath a really long time. Too long. Really. How long can you hold your breath? How can you hold your breath for too long? No. Okay, then. I normally black out when I... Yes, I... Uh, let, let's let's not just be let's not just say yes all the time. No, I don't dance, fans. Ah. That doesn't mean anything. To I thought that was the question. I normally black out when I'm dancing. I like dancing. Do you like dancing? Yes, I like to dance. Okay. Blackout while dancing? I feel like I have to answer the question already. But somehow there's a double asterisk on following up on that topic, which is interesting. I normally black out when I'm dancing. I like dancing. Do you like dancing? Do you ever not black out while dancing? Alright, I give in. What do you know about Dr. Decker's murder? Well, that's why you're here, isn't it? You've replaced him. He was a good listener. I hope you are. Do you think I'm a good listener? Dr. Decker could really get inside you. It was, uh, unsettling. But you let him do it. Part of the process, I guess. Did Decker make you uncomfortable? No. No follow-up for that one. Maybe some progress, though. Only one of them's ready to move on, though. It is not easy to find the right ways to proceed. Okay. So she dances at nightclubs, then blacks out, wakes up swimming in the ocean. How do you get to the ocean? I don't know. Okay. How well did you know Dr. Decker? When did he die? Nope. Don't know. <laughs> Were you close? No. Alright. I want to stop having the blackouts. I want to stop waking up at the beach. I want to remember those entire evenings. You suggest anything that might help? Stop going. Uh, I don't want to tell her to stop going to the beach because it seems like it would just make her have a ha less happy life. So. Take a camera to the beach. No? Yes, I will help you. That doesn't... It helped. It worked before, so I thought I'd give it a try. Alright, she's still giving me some trouble. Ellen, Claire, and Bryce. What is your name? I'm Bryce Hemmings. You must be the new doctor. Did you know Dr. Decker? No, I did not know Dr. Decker. He was an antagonistic psycho. I hope you're not from the same school of thought. 
am I am not here to antagonize you. I didn't really like Dr. Decker, and for quite a few reasons, actually. I'd rather talk about my own problems for now, though, if you don't mind. And what are your problems? Nope. Tell me about yourself. I'm really, I find it really amusing that I didn't get, I didn't do the correct introduction with the characters. Do you know how Decker died? I don't know. Did you, you like Dr. Decker? I know the answer, but still. Dr. Decker would say one thing and do another. He would push me to do things I didn't want to do. He was getting worse towards the end. I'm surprised he didn't kill himself. Do you think about killing yourself? That doesn't... Alright. What did he make you do? I don't have anything for you. Really? How could you not? He antagonized you? Sorry, I don't... Alright. You Dr. bet. Dr. Decker would say one thing and do another. He would push me to do things I didn't want to do. He was getting worse towards the end. I'm surprised he... Towards the end... I don't know. Dr. Decker was getting... worse? Is that something I should know about? Alright. Alright. Why did you keep coming to him? I don't have anything for you. Alright. I'm trying here. Let's ask for a hint. Do you know anything about Decker's murder? I guess I should ask everyone that. I kind of thought I did, but I guess I should be very specific about the phrasing. Yes, Dr. Decker was murdered. Kel surprise. Murder does seem a bit harsh, doesn't it? And another grave to dig. I know as much about it as you do. Less, I would imagine. He knows nothing about the murder. Ready to move on, apparently. Do- I should ask everyone that exact question and phrase exactly- So, do you know anything about Dr. Decker's murder? We did that exact question, or what do you know about Dr. De yeah. Let's try Nathan. What do you know about Dr. Decker's murder? Nope. But a dead end with him. Somehow, somehow still stuck with Mariana. I may need a hint. I've asked about the vodka, and the dancing, and the pearl, and the blackouts, and the prognosis. Do you agree with Decker's prognosis? Are you often nude? There's that nudity question I'm curious about. There's still something to follow up on there. I black out. And then the next thing I remember, I'm naked on the beach. Like I've been washed up on shore. Nobody's pressed charges yet, but I can feel it. The police are getting suspicious. You've been in touch with the police. I think they think I'm a naturist or something. <laughs> they picked me up five times in the last month. So they've been arrested, but there's no follow-up there, but I'll, try I'll ask anyway. Been arrested? I don't have an answer for that. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, 
where do I go from this? I don't want to... I might have to tell her to stop going to the beach. I love the beach. Until somebody tells me it's gonna kill me, I'll keep going. Have you ever been addicted to something, Doctor? Do you have an addictive personality? I don't know. Addicted? That's not really helping with my blackouts. You're addicted to the beach. No, that somehow isn't the thing. What if the beach ki did kill you? No. I love the beach. Until somebody tells me it's gonna kill me, I'll keep going. Have you ever been addicted to something, Doctor? Right, that's a question. Yes. I have a crippling Dark Souls addiction. I thought so when I first saw you. We should get on great. <laughs> That went exactly as well as I thought it might. <laughs> Is that what that we needed for her? It's still not there. Ah, what do we follow up on here? This one. That's the big one, right? Okay. I normally black out when I'm dancing. I like dancing. Do you like dancing? I feel like I'm just supposed to answer her question, but I feel like I keep answering her question and it's not registering somehow. I... Caps lock. I like dancing. I have. I love dancing. I can't stop dancing. Please call for help. If that's what you want, I'll stop clubbing for a while. It's no biggie. Okay. I'm not sure how they got that interpretation from what I said, but that was interesting. I can now it's now it's that's canonized as a question. I can't stop dancing. Please call for help. So could the stopping of the dancing somehow lead to the stopping of the blackouts? Stop dancing and then tell me if you have any more any more blackouts. You think my dancing causes my blackouts? No, I know it's the last thing I remember, but I don't think it's that. Sometimes I remember more, but... I'm tired now. <laughs> Is that it for today? Oh, now she's ready. Okay. Could be problematic, though. What do you drink? That's not really helping with my blackouts. Could you be drugged at the clubs? That doesn't mean- Have you been drugged? No, I don't know about- I think I misspelled that. Have you been drugged? I have no idea about that. I don't think she liked that. This is not... Not easy to get the, uh... Green ones, for sure. The game did say it's deliberately hard. So there's some deep, dark, secret stuff going on here that makes it hard to find these things. I'm curious to see whether Hint still works when you are done with the yellows. What charges are you worried about? Have you been charged by the police. Charges? I guess people see me and call the police. But someone will take offense eventually, and I'll be charged with indecent exposure. Okay. It's a little weird because some of the green stuff is like... Stuff we already know, basically, but it's counted as, like, a form of progress, essentially. 
it's curious. I'm trying to make my mind up whether or not I want to try to do this somewhat naturally, or if I want to eventually brute force through, through hints, getting all the greens to see if it- because I might get the best ending or something. Let's meet someone new. Claire. Introduce yourself, weird British Ashley Birch. I don't have an answer to that. Okay. What is your name? My name is Claire Castleford, and as I'm paying a small fortune for these sessions, I'd expect you to be up to speed, Doctor. Well, sorry, but everyone else freaks out when I when I and uh, acts like I need to go back and. I mean, some of these people literally went yellow when I introduced, got them to introduce themselves. So, like, I apparently have to tell you guys to do that. <laughs> small fortune. Being rich has its perks, but honestly. I would give it all up in a heartbeat if it could free me from this madness. What's madness? I'm in a bit of a predicament, Doctor. I'll get to that. You're just ending there? Predicament? Well, according to your predecessor, I'm a delusional psychotic with obsessive tendencies. Oh, and a history of violence. <laughs> Sounds so cold when you put it like that, though, doesn't it? What is your history with violence? To be fair, there was only one violent outburst that hardly qualifies as a history of violence. And he provoked me. How did he provoke you? It was a brief moment of temporary insanity. Or temporary clarity, I'm not really sure which. David had been having an affair with his assistant optician, Iris. How predictable. <sighs> Not just the affair, but an optician named Iris. I was about to call you on that. There's an optician named Iris? Really? What did you do to David? Keep up, Doctor. David is my husband. Not what I asked, but okay. Do you love David? Tell me about your husband. I'm obsessed with my husband. It's absurd, really. How obsessed? Obsessed with your husband? Okay. How absurd. Because he is here. And he shouldn't be. What happened to David? David is here. Why shouldn't he be here? He's lucky to be alive. He almost died. How did David almost die? My husband is not a well man. We've been having problems for a while now. Problems? I should have divorced him. I wish I had. So much could have been avoided. Avoided? Our altercation. The downfall since. Altercation? <laughs> just tagging onto specific clues over and over again, just the one word. I tried to hurt David once. That's why I'm here, isn't it? I'm not proud of my behavior, but I was very angry. It was a private matter, though. The police should never have been involved. The police were involved? The police seem to think I'm dangerous. I'm only sitting here talking to you because I have a lot of money. Otherwise, there's no doubt I'd be thrown into prison for a very long time. That's why I need your help, Doctor. How can I help? I need you to believe me. That's why I'm paying for these sessions. Everyone else thinks I'm crazy and dangerous. Everyone else thinks I've lost my mind. What do you need me to believe? I'm going to have to plead ignorance on that one. 
Aw, oh, we were doing so good, too. Like, weirdly good compared to, like, everybody else. Alright. A lot of... A lot of... A lot of asterisks to follow up on with this one. Weird how only... How are there only Mariana clues? Maybe it's just supposed to set you up on how the whole game works a little bit, I wonder? Okay. My husband is not a well man. Your husband isn't well? His health, if you can call it that, has been deteriorating rapidly in the last few weeks. I can't cope with caring for him anymore. What is his condition? If I knew anything about that... Curious. <laughs> what is wrong with David? Is David sick? Okay. This isn't quite working. To be fair, there was only one... Tell me about your out burst. I stabbed him with a steak knife. Shocking, isn't it? Why did you stab David? Stabbed? Yes, that is quite shocking. Sorry, Doctor, I can't answer. Thought I'd give it a shot. Alright. I tried to hurt David once. That's why I'm here, isn't it? I'm not proud of my behaviour, but I was very angry. It was a private matter, though. The police should never have been involved. They've never been involved for you stabbing him with a knife? Do you often get angry? I never used to get angry. Ever. If you're angry, you're not in control. Isn't that right? And it would be very bad for me to lose control. Did you lose control? Let's save that for another time, shall we? I'm rich, but I'm not made of money. And I'm fairly sure my time is up. Is it up? Are you yellow already? No, you're not. Because I probably have to ask, ask you, what do you know about the murder of Dr... Decker. I don't understand what you're getting at, Doctor. Please be more specific. Tell me about Dr. Decker. The most shocking thing about Dr. Decker's death is that he didn't bring it upon himself. But then I hadn't known him for a very long time. Perhaps I was wrong about him. Okay. Didn't bring it upon himself. Dr. Decker just had that look about him. You know what they say about us crazies. Takes one to know one. <laughs> House officer. What in the world is that? What is up with that title? So is that my new rank or something? Yep, detective ranking. I have found 50% of the responses, apparently, for the... Is that for this act alone, I assume? It can't be half of the responses of the entire game. That'd be bizarre. Holy crap, I've been playing for like 90 minutes and the game says I have 10% progress. Whew. This is a big game. That's impressive. That hint to use is going to get big, isn't it? I'm just going to suck it up and accept that it helps the pacing, I think, of the playthrough if I am making progress and not brute forcing over and over again. It's like, oh god, what do I do? Because there's definitely uh, these text-to-speech, not text-to-speech, but these things where you manually type in literally anything can be so open-ended that they can be, they can feel impossible at times. But I'm, but I'm, I'm already intrigued by what's going on here. Let's try again. What do you know about Doctor Decker's death? No, that doesn't mean. All right. Do you know who murdered Decker? I think we'd get along a lot better if you stuck to asking me one question at a time. Okay, well that's not working. The most shocking thing about Dr. Decker's death is that he didn't bring it upon himself. But then I hadn't known him for a very long time. Perhaps I was wrong about him. Oh. 
Don't know how we'd follow up on that. Let's go back to this one. Well, according to your predecessor, I'm a delusional psychotic with obsessive tendencies. Oh, and a history of violence. <laughs> Sounds so cold when you put it like that, though, doesn't it? Decker claimed you were delusional. Delusions. As in seeing things that are not there. I'm not going to be any more specific. It's not true in any case. I'm not delusional. What do you see? I don't know. See things that aren't there? Yes, Dr. Decker did think I was delusional when he first met me. He changed his mind after getting to know me better, as I hope he will too. He believed you? Sorry. Okay. That's some progress. It appears to be a dead end for now. I suppose we need to ask about the husband then. His health, if you can call it that, has been deteriorating rapidly in the last few weeks. I can't cope with caring for him anymore. You've been caring for your husband? David has trouble looking after himself. Sometimes I'll leave the lake house and he's just sitting in the rocking chair on the porch. And when I return the next evening, he's still there, just staring into the stars. He needs help, I know, but I can't hire anybody to care for him. You leave your husband all day? All right. Staring into the stars? David's staying at the lake house. It belonged to my parents, but I don't use it much anymore. I have the main house to myself. That definitely dead-ended. But not fully, because we're still missing something about the your husband. Tell me about your husband's... health. Since our... Uh altercation. He's become less and less active. His mind's become less and less active too. Such a delightful conversationalist at one time. Now more of an enigmatic husk. Does your husband suffer from depression? No, that's a dead end too. Okay. Well, we've at least been able to figure out how to proceed with them a little bit. That's interesting. Okay. At least I feel like I at least feel like we're making progress here. Let's check out Ellen now. Who are you? I'm Elin. I'm 25 and I'm a nurse. God, I sound like I'm on one of those dating shows. I've never met Elin before. A name, that's a new name. Sorry for writing your notes, say hello to Elin for me, and let her know that Terry called for her. Yeah, yeah. XX. Oh. These notes are all, are these notes all from my assistant then and not from me? Interesting. All right. You work as a nurse. I work in a nursing home for the elderly. I basically do end of life care. How do you han How do you handle the end of life care? The usual things. Making sure the patients are comfortable, making sure they're not in any pain, and I talk to them. I keep them company. Some of them get pretty frightened about what's coming. Well, those of them that aren't out of it on meds. I comfort them. Do you... Oops. Do you... Like your job? Yes, I love my job. I love my patients. Even the really crotchety ones, you know? Oh God, you should hear what comes out of their mouths. But they're like my children in a way. That sounds weird, doesn't it? How do you feel about death? I'm really bad at this, aren't I? 
Ask me something else. Okay. It's a little, it's a little tangential, I suppose. Let's see. I want to, I'm going to want to avoid asking about whatever their condition is or Decker for as long as possible and try to ask about their job and, and go down that path if I can. Um, you called the elderly your children? I don't have any kids. <laughs> Maybe I will one day. I don't know. At the moment, all my energy is focused on taking care of my patients. Are you married? I'm not really looking for love at the moment. I'm sort of married to my work, but in a good way. Do you get lonely? No, sorry. Okay. May have did end it a little bit there. Tell me about the nursing home. Nope, never mind. The usual things. Making sure the patients are comfortable. Making sure they're not in any pain. And I talk to them. I keep them company. Some of them get pretty frightened about what's coming. Well, those of them that aren't out of it on meds. I comfort them. What's coming? Death is frightening, isn't it? Isn't it what everyone's afraid of? The great unknown. No one should have to face that alone. Are you afraid of death? No, death doesn't scare me. It's probably because I've been around it so much, but I haven't seen anything that's made me feel like it's something to fear. I don't think death is an end. I think it's a doorway to another place. I'm just not sure where. Where do you think we go when we die, Doctor? You can definitely get a sense for why they do this. The whole typing in stuff manually and having them respond to it. Because it's actually, like, spooky when they perfectly respond to exactly what you said. And it's not a weird, like, oh, I triggered a keyword. It's like, no, they answered your question exactly. Like, it's actually really neat. It's just hard to do right. Ellen asked me where we can go, where we go when we die. Heaven? Valhalla, maybe. I can think of half a dozen more. I don't think... We go, go anywhere when we die. Well, that's bleak, but I don't believe it. What do you believe? No, sorry. All right. Do you believe in heaven? I don't believe in God, so I can't really claim to believe in heaven. Okay, I'm bleak, but aren't you on kind of the same floor then? No, death doesn't scare me. Oh yeah, uh, what meds? I don't like it when patients are heavily sedated. Especially when there are alternatives, like herbal remedies. I mean, imagine if you only had a few days or weeks left to live. Would you want to spend it asleep? Oh, I'm so torn about what she just said. On one hand, she's suggesting alternative medicine. I'm like, no, what are you doing? But on the other hand, I'm like, yeah, like I, I totally agree with like, you probably don't want to be out of it the entire time you're on your way out of, on your way to dying. That's rough. But alternative medicine. Uh, so you you believe in alternative medicine? I'm a qualified herbalist. It's okay. You can laugh. Most people think herbalism is a joke, but I'd much rather help my patients sleep at night with valerian or passion flower than lorazepam, tamazepam, or zolpidem. I mean, aspirin comes from a tree, an asp tree, I believe. A lot of a lot of uh, actual medicine is actually just uh, a lot of them are actually natural cures that are just in pill form. 
Your... How does one become a qualified herbalist? Traditional medicine makes patients worse sometimes, don't you think? You must see it all the time, doctor. You take one pill, then have to take five other pills to deal with the side effects. Herbs are kinder. Obviously, you have to be careful, just like with everything. Giving the wrong combination can be deadly. Fortunately, I know what I'm doing. Sounds... Doesn't sound different from medicine. It just sounds identical to medicine. <laughs> like, medicine has all these side effects. Not herbs, except for when you do it wrong. Then, it, then they die. <laughs> Turns out, plants can be deadly and have side effects and whatnot. S side effects. Alright. Deadly. I haven't really got anything to say about that. Wrong combination of herbs? Nope, that's not going anywhere. I don't like it when patients are heavily sedated. Especially when there are alternatives, like herbal remedies. I mean, imagine if you only had a few days or weeks left to live. Would you want to spend it asleep? No. I would want to be awake. Exactly. I feel like it's almost criminal. Like you're robbing people of their last moments on Earth. You should be able to savor the experience, not sleep your way to death. This series has to ha have the most bizarre, bizarre commentary because all I'm doing is constantly talking to somebody. But in a way, the questions I'm typing often are my commentary as I'm reading them aloud because th that's my my response. It's strange, yeah. I I am I am usually naturally inquisitive when I'm playing games, but the inquisitive part is then translate directly into me typing questions, which is then my commentary. But it's the type of stuff I'd often be saying regardless. But then it only becomes that, and so uh, I know I'm aware of the fact that I'm often going like five minutes or ten minutes straight, maybe even without it saying anything besides what I'm typing. But what I'm typing is in a way my response to what they're saying. So it's like I guess it's the same thing. This is definitely a thing. I've this definitely is a general feel. I've never quite had for a series. 